Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve for the value of x given this nice algebra equation which is 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 63 raised to the power of square root of x. Let's prevent the solution from here. We have 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 63 raised to the power square root of x. Now, 7 to the power of square root of x is common here, so we can factor out 7 to the power of square root of x, so that into the parentheses, 7 to the power of square root of x divided by 7 to the power square root of x, this is 1, plus here 1, plus 1, this is equal to 63 raised to the power of square root of x. The next step is that we have 7 to the power of square root of x multiplied by 3. This is equal to 63 raised to the power of square root of x. The next step is that we can express 63 as 9 times 7. So this implies here we have 7 to the power of square root of x times 3. This is equal to 9 times 7 raised to the power of square root of x. 9 times 7 raised to the power of square root of x. This is in the form of a times b raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property from here, this implies we have 7 to the power square root of x times 3. This is equal to 9 to the power of square root of x times 7 raised to the power square root of x. The next step is to simplify here. 7 raised to the power square root of x. So that now, here we have 3. This is equal to 9 raised to the power square root of x. We can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. So here we have 3. This is equal to 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power square root of x. The next step is that 3, this is 3 to the power of 1. This is equal to 3 to the power 2 raised to the power square root of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. This implies a 3 to the power of 1. This is equal to 3 to the power 2 square root of x. Now, we have that the bases are common here. This implies that a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m. This implies that the exponent n is equal to m. Applying this property, this implies that we have 1 is equal to 2 square root of x. Now, the next step from here to solve for x here, let's square both signs. So that now we have 1 squared, this is 1, this is equal to 2 square root of x squared. This means we square this inventory, that is 2 squared, which is 4, times square root of x squared. This means we eliminate the square root sign, so this is x. And this implies that we have 4x, this is equal to 1. Let's divide both signs by 4, so that now, from here, x is equal to 1 over 4. This is the value of x. From here, this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the value of x, which is 1 over 4, actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, we have 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x plus 7 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 63 
to the power of square root of x. Now, given that 7 to the power of square root of x is common here, we can factor out 7 to the power of square root of x. So that now, into the parentheses here, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 63 to the power of square root of x. So this implies here we have 7 to the power of square root of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, this is 3. This is equal to 63 to the power of square root of x. The next step from here, we can express 63 as 9 times 7. So here we have 7 raised to the power of square root of x times 3. This is equal to 9 times 7 raised to the power of square root of x. Remember 9 times 7, this is in the form of a times b raised to the power n, which we can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, we have 7 to the power of square root of x times 3. This is equal to 9 to the power of square root of x times 7 to the power of square root of x. Now, you find that here, 7 to the power of square root of x and 7 to the power of square root of x simplifies. So that now here we have 3 to the, this is equal to 9 to the power of square root of x. Which is the same thing as 9 to the power of square root of x. This should be equal to 3. Now, let's substitute the value of x. So that now here we have 9 to the power of square root of 1 over 4. This should give us a value of 3. Now this implies that a square root of 1 over 4, square root of 1 over 4, this is the same thing as half. Therefore, we have 9 raised to power half, this is equal to 3. This should give us a value of 3. Now, you find that a to the power of half, this is the same thing as square root of a. Now, applying this property from here, this implies that we have square root of 9. This should be equal to 3. Now, we have that square root of 9, this is equal to 3, which is equal to 3. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to 1 over 4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video. And